taking over WebJP Fanboy, Go10, an Isabel player, taking it over Sharpedo43. A lot of Isabels. For real. I'm here for it. The, o the OG Fang main. Yeah. Chilling with it. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Ooh, seven rings in hand. Ooh. This is the only good thing from Sonic and the Secret this is Rings. A banger, yo. This song is kind of <laughs> a slapper. There's one thing Sonic has going for it's good music. And. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Utopian Ray versus Sinnoh. So we're gonna see some Banjo Bayo. I've never watched this matchup before, but I, I know like how both so these characters many. function. There's so many matchups where you're like, man, have I ever seen this played out? That's there not are, like... What, like 80 characters in this game or something like that. Like that's how many potential matchups in like a math sense. That's like yeah, a, uh, a lot, second. including Dittos. So it's like you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, and yeah, you can even have the ditto there. So would that be a, that would be a permutation? ADP yeah, I think two? so. I think so. Uh, that's a number. Oh, that's a lot. It's a big number, for sure. <laughs> Over a thousand, I'm pretty sure. Big number. <laughs> <laughs> my, my brain don't develop for math. <laughs> I play a video game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me Nest player, me don't do math. <laughs> me eat, paint, and laugh. <laughs> mm, crayon. <laughs> <laughs> the air dodge through the witch time just <laughs> slowed down. Oh man, but Ray Ray has been like a Ray Ray is a virtuoso on banjo. Like this was the weirdest character because he started off as just a strict Palu main and then transitioned fully into becoming a uh, banjo main Palutena secondary. And like yeah. you wouldn't opt for a worse character typically, but this character fits Ray like a glove. Somehow. He, he's, he's grinded this character, and this is what is. Sinnoh, also a very, very talented player in their own right. Haven't heard too much about them, but I have seen their name in some brackets here or there, so they definitely know their way around the block as well. Yeah, it's, it's interesting that Ray would uh, choose to adapt his style to, to Banjo, but it kind of works because he played a very, like, lead trap oriented like, trapping style of Palutena, and... Mm -hmm. But Palutena did, could do that because she just has good buttons. But now you're playing a character built for that, so it just kind of works. He also, in 4, he played a very, very defensive Rosalina. So yeah. this is definitely not his, his first rodeo in terms of defensive play. I, in fact, I feel like this character works super well because of how defensive he plays. Uh, I don't know. His, his banjo is just a treat to watch. As, as we can see thus far, like he's got it down. Like, Sinnoh is kind of struggling to do what Bayo kind of struggles to do, which is get that big, uh, that big hit at the end to get the kill. Uh, that should do it, though. Yeah, yeah. Angle, make sure to angle that down just in yeah, case please. he falls through. <laughs> He's been landing a lot of Witch Times, but overusing Witch Time is gonna end more, gonna end in more trouble for Bayo than it is mm. for your opponent. And his early percent combos have been pretty solid. It looks like his recovery yeah. routes have been pretty variable. He's using on uh, using oh dive kick. He does have his jump. They always seem to have it somewhere. Know, somehow, somewhere I think it, for some reason I think it's gone and they just pop right back up with it. <laughs> I, I like that like get out of the corner little trick. Just jab one, heel slide. <laughs> Good combo. Uh, Ray has to find some way to land now. That grenade pull is like insane. Just insanely good for helping a landing out because it's it's like a big snake. Ooh, Ooh. ostrich challenge. It's neat. That's <laughs> that's where you can challenge Bale of all places because mm -hmm. you have a window for ABK where it doesn't snap ledge. Yep. Which twist doesn't snap ledge? Yep. You can punish jump. Like just like straight up jumping to ledge, like all of that. If you have a good down air, good down tilt, you can you can hit those. I feel like enough players don't take advantage of that. That Bayo like doesn't isn't as disjointed as you think she is. Like or at least doesn't have like she has windows where you can punish her up over the ledge. Um, that was, uh, that was a good punish. Ray did it twice. He knew that that, that was obvious. Yeah, like knowledge of the matchup right there of, of what to do. I feel like. Um, yeah, Ray, I don't know how Sinnoh is going to crack this nut because Ray's just looking very, very solid in terms of just how he's been dealing, how he's been, fi he's been finishing his food really, really well. He's been finishing his stocks. He's not, he's not leaving a single scrap left on that plate. I feel like Bayo 
struggles to do that a little bit more because it's not as definitive for her. She has to either get a good read with Witch Time or um, she has to get like a straight back air. You don't really see her do the things that she used to do, which was erase your stock hella early off of a really good combo. Yeah, especially on a stage like this. Uh, Smash 4 memories, or memories you'd like to erase, oh, yeah, depending sure. on how you how you feel about Bayonetta. As a Smash 4 Bayonetta player, RIP. RIP this stage. But you've also got... She's also got some pretty creative uh, horizontal combos as well. However, Ray, taking full advantage of Banjo and Wi-Fi, just shooting off that Wonder Wing. Oh, he, I... Wow, always. They always have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless <Every> they don't. <laughs> when, when do they ever not have it, though? Oh, <laughs> I... There used to be that joke of like Bayonetta's <laughs> always SD once per set. It's true. <laughs> can 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 corroborate that fact. Yeah, but character's not as broken now, so you have to you have to save your jump this time. Ooh. That's so unfortunate. That was a really good landing mix up from Sinnoh, but the RCL lag from using all those specials gave Ray way way more than enough time to really uh, just distribute the punish. Yeah, Ray. Ray has been hitting these confirms. Now the Sinnoh's got a mix up. They're mashing, or I don't even know if they can mash out at that time or do something. They uh, uh, keep getting grabbed. So try to play a little more anti grab at kill percents because that's how Ray has been really finessing these stocks off is just getting those solid grabs. Uh, yeah, Banjo's got Banjo's neat because I mean, oftentimes you can start mashing while he's doing the throw animation, and it'll count towards getting out of the berry. So you can get out of that really quick, but that's where up tilt comes in. At 140, I think up smash is just true, unless they're a godlike masher. But that you can just not mash, it's particularly in center stage, and you can get around that. So it's it's interesting to see him just declare on, like, I'm going to mash super early, because Ray will take that every day of the week, because mm -hmm. a 50-50 suddenly becomes just a kill confirm. Yeah, this is looking tough for Sinnoh. Um, oh wow, that's gonna be another stock off. Enough rage on Ray to take off the top right there. Everybody this is jumps. looking pretty grim for Sinnoh right now. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the RCL lag is just doing them in so much. They've been opting to land on stage and just exhaust every resource before deciding to land. I feel like they've got to start mixing up a little bit, maybe playing even a little bit more grounded, uh, trying to do more short hop ABKs perhaps, neutral, just some, something else. Something different that is gonna shake up Ray because Ray is definitely... Uh, received all the information he's needed to receive in, in the in terms of this set so far. Yeah, it, I I really enjoy that uh, that analysis because the you can watch how Sinnoh like when they choose one special, they're actually choosing to do them all. Yeah, they're some, doing all of them in some sequence. <laughs> you, you don't just get see... the mix up, but you don't you don't get the payoff for it because you're exhausting all your resources. Like I believe you get less RCL lag if you do less specials. I think. Yes. This is true. So maybe just doing one or two. Like if one doesn't work, you don't need to keep like just coming back and forth. You just gotta just relax. Just hit one, reset neutral. Don't be afraid. You don't have to keep punishing pushing your punish that doesn't that isn't there, you know? Yeah. It's okay. Casper Casper can get bullied yeah, yeah. later. <laughs> I leave Casper alone. <laughs> <laughs> leave him alone, man. You got, you got a bear and a bird to worry about. Oh, and one that's absolutely worrying about you. I mean, he didn't use any resources. So he's got plenty. But right, like there, right? Yeah. Like up B, up B, A, B, K. You there you can... go. That was good. That was a good one right there. Because they used a normal. They didn't just oh. try to go with the neutral Bs to like pop them up and get straight damage. Oh. However, comma, Wonder Wing. <laughs> you dropped from Halo, ran to ledge, paused. <laughs> Very important. Pause. Blitz Wonder Wing back to center stage. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it, you know. You, you have it. You have it. You gotta do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's at 150. He's looking for combos. It's, it's Bayonetta. They're already dashing around, and dashing is a hot, pretty hard commitment. Our initial dash, at least. If I were to describe Sinnoh's gameplay, I would say that was a little reckless. I, I feel like I to put it to put it harshly but bluntly i feel like it was a little too reckless for because banjo you have to watch out for certain tools like wonder wing hits you like a freight train you got to be worried yeah. about those grab confirms as well uh err on the side of caution because if you keep using your specials recklessly you're gonna get uh just demolished like uh ray has gone through the hell that was smash 4 he knows how to wait for bayo to be done doing what bayo does he's also he was also doing such a great job of staying in um and Sinnoh's face the entire time. You notice Ray didn't really allow 
Sinnoh too much time to establish any zoning. He was ready to catch the landing and punish accordingly every single time. He really wasn't about... He, he would retreat to grab the grenade, then come right back in and, and, and start scrapping again. <laughs> 